Okay, what's up, YouTube? It is Pacey AI one more time. About to give you another video. Remember to leave a like, share, and subscribe. So I want to talk to you guys about live API with Gemini 2.0. Now, this is in Google's AI Studio platform, and this essentially allows you to use the multimodal features of Gemini 2.0 to go ahead and interact with your computer, interact with your microphone, and stream real-time data, real-time interaction using text, voice, and video, or screen sharing to essentially get different things done. So this is really, really cool. I'm going to kind of break it down. Now, there's multiple features. If you go to AIstudio.google.com, you sign up, you should have access to this right away. I think you also have to sign up for the Google One subscription, if I'm not mistaken. But once you have that subscription, you can go ahead and use their AI API services. So now if you click on stream real time, we have a few options here. We have talk to Gemini, we have show Gemini, and we have share your screen. So talk to Gemini is pretty straightforward. It would connect to your microphone, whatever microphone you have, whether you're on mobile or you are on your PC, you could go ahead and talk to Gemini from your microphone. You can show Gemini what you're seeing. Same for phone, same for PC. It takes control of your camera and it essentially allows you to real time communicate what you're seeing or ask it about what you're seeing. So that is really cool. You can also share your screen, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating in this video. And essentially all this is, you're just sharing your screen, you're showing it what you see on your screen and you're essentially having it provide you help with different things. So this is great for if you are working on a project and you just want help right away. You don't fully understand the code. If you're developing and you don't fully understand code or you're just trying to write some new code, but you don't know what to write, you can have a personal assistant essentially real time assisting you, helping you along the way to actually write your code, understand and analyze your code. So that is pretty cool. So I'm going to be demonstrating the real time screen sharing feature and i'm going to be using the code that i previously demonstrated in the video about browser use now this is the capture function and this function essentially allows you to solve captures with browser use if you guys want to see the browser use video link is in the description to that one and that is a very cool video got a lot of views i mean a whole lot of traction on that video surprisingly, but that video is very, very cool because it tells you how you can literally do anything on the internet using an automated browser. Really, really cool. So this essentially is the code for solving a capture. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is that I'm going to click share your screen. Okay, Gemini, I want you to help me with this code right here. This is a code for browser use and it is a platform that allows you to automate tasks using your browser, using AI. So currently I'm using the model chat GBT 4.0, but I want you to kind of go through line by line of this code to kind of explain what this is doing. It's a Python script designed for automating tasks in a web browser using AI. It specifically utilizes the chat GPT 4 model. Would you like me to start going through it line by line? Yes. Okay, let's start with the first few lines. Lines one through five are comments, mostly providing a title and a brief description of what the code is for, which is trying out a captcha. Line six through 15 imports various Python libraries, such as OS and SYS for interacting with the operating system, Langchain for using the ChatOpen AI model, and browser use for browser automation. Shall I continue? Yes, continue. Okay, moving on, lines 16 and 17 are just empty lines for better readability. Line 18 is a comment stating that cap touches are hard and that this example works but might not for iframes. On line 19, it initializes the LLM variable, which stands for language model, using the chat open AI model with GPT-4 O's. Then on line 20, an agent is created. Next, line 22 defines the task that the agent should solve, which is to solve the cap toucha on the specified website which is then given to the agent via the task equals parameter in line 23. Would you like me to continue? Yes, continue. Line 24 is another empty line for better readability. Then starting on line 26, it defines an asynchronous function called mainSP, which contains two lines. 
First, on line 27, it awaits for the agent to run and complete the task. Then on line 28, it waits for user input before the script ends. Finally, line 31 calls the main function using asyncio.run. Should I go into more details about how each of these libraries work? Yes, do that please. Let's delve a bit deeper into the libraries used. The OS and SYS libraries, which are imported at the beginning, are standard Python libraries that provide functions for interacting with the operating system. OS allows you to do things like create directories, remove files, or change file names, while SYS is more about the Python interpreter itself, like exiting the script early or checking what version of Python is being used. Shall I continue to explain other libraries? Yes, go ahead. Okay, the Langchain library, specifically langchain.chat underscore models, is used to integrate large language models like chat GPT-4 into the script, allowing it to perform tasks using natural language. Finally, browser use seems to be a custom library created to automate tasks within the browser. It provides the agent class, which you can see being used on lines 20 and 27. Is there anything specific about these libraries you would like me to elaborate on? No, that's it. Thank you very much for your help, and I really appreciate it. Thank you. So as you guys can see, very, very helpful tool just to be able to real-time stream your screen and Gemini being able to provide assistance with your code and things like that. That is really, really cool. You saw how good it was at going line by line, recognizing the code in each line and explaining what each line does. So definitely, guys, you guys should check this out. The link is in the description to this one. This is very effective for if you are a developer and you're trying to write code and you're trying to understand code or you're trying to improve on somebody else's code, but you don't fully understand what they're doing. You can essentially have AI assist you in real time. Look at your screen, assist you in real time and really help you to write the code and just have an interactive peer programmer by your side at all times this is really really cool and this is just the start of it we did see something like this advertised by OpenAI back in their conference may of last year however we still don't have access to that feature as yet in the chat gpt app so we're still waiting for that we're still waiting for being able to share a screen and stream real time for a peer programmer or just ai to assist us with anything whether it be games whether it be coding, whether it be whatever it is, being able to analyze what you're watching and just having the AI that you can interact with for information and explaining different things. So let me know what you guys think. Have a great day. Pace AI sign out. I'll be putting out more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys for checking out my videos. Definitely really appreciate it. Let me know what you guys think, but have a great day. Pace AI sign out. Peace.